Hello, family. Welcome back to the channel. Did you miss me? Did y'all miss me out there? So I have been gone for uh, two days. I haven't uploaded in two days and had a lot to do with, um, you know, family time, spending time with family and, you know, uh, and, and just enjoying life. OK, uh, I think that's what we have to do. I think anyone, OK, whether you're working a nine to five, whether you're working a business, OK, uh, any content creators, whoever you are, you have to take time and, um, you know, give a lot of that time to family. I right, have to take some time. Now, me, myself, I do a pretty good job of balancing what I do uh, with family, but I wanted to create a uh, 100% uh, time to uh, family, okay? And then get back on the grind um, afterwards. But um, I have been paying attention a lot uh, to a lot of uh, what has been going on with Saitama, okay? A lot of individuals want to know, Ram, do you know this? Do you know this? Do you know that? Yes, I know everything that is going on. And um, I'm still seeing a, a, a little bit of the same stuff as far as uh, impatient individuals. Now, um, you know, Say the Pro <clears throat> will be coming out, okay? But I also see a lot of uh, impatient uh, individuals out there. I see a lot of impatient people out there, all right? Um, and, you know, the thing is you have to understand that this is a process. It's a whole process, all right, nothing is going to come out uh, right away. All right, a lot of this stuff is complicated. And a lot of this stuff is complex, no matter what certain individuals say. All right, because the thing is, this technology is complex. Now, I know some may say, well, um, it didn't look as complex on Certic because, you know, we went through Certic with, um, you know, flying colors here and there. But you have to understand, um, look at the challenge Certic had uh, in the beginning, okay, with like uh, Sadamass 1. All right, with like uh, a Sadamas and uh, Saitama uh, version one. Look at the challenges they had in the beginning. So the thing is, um, Certic knew what they needed to look for. Right, it was way more easier for them now because they've seen what they needed to see. Uh, they seen the corrections that we made. They seen e even the, the new tech that was built on top of, um, you know, um, <clears throat> uh, V1 and uh, Sadamas. All right, they knew they was familiar with it, all right? But um, things are, are, are looking good. Um, Y'all just have to have patience, all right? Now, um, when we look at the charts, all right, the market is going down, all right? Uh, Bitcoin is at, uh, I think, like 21K or something like that. And we had to expect that, all right? Um, we've had our market pump, um, you know, and in my opinion, it, it's kind of time to get down to reality. We want these corrections, all right? We want these corrections. Um, you know, you had a lot of individuals that, um, you know, took some profits or whatever they may do. Y'all know me. All right. I don't care if the market is up or down. All right. Me, myself, I'm a long term holder. I don't take profits unless I have to, because the thing is that short term gains cannot do anything for me. And you can call me spoiled. OK, call me spoiled. Call me whatever you want to call me. But I'm not looking to take out, um, you know, bag of grocery money. All right, I'm not looking to take out that. I'm looking to take out wealth. All right, I'm looking out to, to, to take out wealth. I'm looking to, um, you know, have my money work for me because that's what I like. That's what, um, you know, that's the way I've always done investing. I believe that that's the way a lot of individuals should do investing because the thing is this, um, uh, you you have to <clears throat> when you when you are not satisfied with your lifestyle, right? When you're not satisfied with your lifestyle, you have to take a look. You have to take a step back and you have to say, you you have to wonder why are things not working for you like it works for uh, the 1%. You know, I hear a lot of people saying, I'm in the wrong line of business. You know, I hear a lot of individuals saying, you know, uh, you know, how do they make it look so easy? How do the other people, how do the 1% make it look, look so easy? It's not that you're in the wrong uh, line of business, all right? It's that you're in the wrong line of knowledge. That's what it is. You're in the wrong line of knowledge. You're in the conventional knowledge world or you live in the conventional knowledge world. You will not allow yourself to uh, venture out into the unconventional world of knowledge, okay, and learn off the grid. You won't allow yourself to learn off the grid, okay? 
Uh, knowledge is power. I know it's some corny ass stuff to say, but knowledge is power. All right, that's what a lot of individuals are, are, are especially the 1%. That's what a lot of them are, um, are living off of. They're living off of knowledge. All right, they're living off of knowledge and putting that knowledge into action. Yeah, but the thing is this also. Um, the reason why we do not know what we're supposed to know is because uh, it is not taught co conventionally. It is not meant for you to know what you should know. All right? Um, therefore, if it's not meant for you to know what you should know, that means that you have to venture out on your own and find it. Okay? You got to understand that a lot of the one percenters out there, they didn't learn what they know from uh, the conventional educational system. They did not learn what they need to know. Okay, from um, uh, from conventional teachings, whatever, wh wh whether it be grade school, uh, you know, uh, what high school, college, uh, whatever it may be, technical schools, everything in any kind of conventional educational system is watered down. It's conventional knowledge, no matter what it is. I don't care if you're in law school, all right, because there are people in law law school. Right. There are people in law who do conventional law who who can get schooled by someone uh, that knows unconventional law or know how to dive deep into uh, the laws and teach. They will get straight up school. All right. And the reason why they will get school is because they're taught the law system. They're taught the conventional law system. They're taught the law system that we have to abide by and that we live off and that they teach off of, okay, and work out of, all right? So they can't possibly know what they need to know, all right? But when you get somebody that dive deep into laws, for example, um, you know, uh, credit laws, man, you, do you know how, do you know how deep credit laws work? Do you know how deep credit laws work? Do you know that if individuals out there for, do you know that we get taken advantage of every single day, okay? And this is from practices that we think is the norm. This is from practices that we think is the norm. From, you know, you're being violated from how individuals send mail to you, how debt collectors send, uh, like, mail to you, uh, from from phone calls that, that are called to you. You're being violated every single day, but you do not know that because you believe that it is the norm. Okay, that's how long we've been living in this world. Um, you know, surviving off of washdown and mislaid information, all right? Uh, you're violated every single day, and you do not know how to... F if you knew how... If an individual knew how to fight a, a damn law, okay, um, that would make your life so much better, all right? It's a lot of money into that. It's a lot of benefit in that for the consumer. The consumer is you, okay? You're violated every single day. If you knew what you need to know, OK. Your life will be a whole lot better. And the thing is, this uh, you cannot learn it from um, you, you cannot learn it from conventional teachers because conventional teachers don't even know. All right. They get violated every day and they they don't even know. So um, <clears throat> I don't know how the hell I got on this, but I was talking about say, Tom, and I just ventured off. Y'all know me. Maybe I just missed y'all for the weekend. All right. But um. Yeah, man, y'all just got to know what y'all need to know, um, you know, and, and carry that unconventional mindset through anything you do, whether it's, um, you know, whether it is um, investing or whatever it may be. You invest in crypto, investing into, uh, you know, stocks, real estate, whatever it may be. But anyway, y'all, um, you know, everything is, is still looking strong. Like I said, for those individuals that are kind of uh, pissed off about uh, you know, say the pro and, you know, hey, this supposed to be here, this supposed to be there. Y'all got to wait, all right? Y'all got to wait, all right? Because the thing is this, they're not on your time, all right? Nobody can be on your time. No developer can be on your time, especially when it involves technology uh, that takes um, a little bit more getting catered to than the conventional copy and paste projects out here. All right, so I want to make this video. Remember, every now will be history tomorrow, and y'all will have y'all either have uh, um, patience in this crypto investing space or lose in the end. Y'all do not want to be no losers. All right, this is my video, and I will catch y'all on the up and up. Audi to y'all, beautiful.
investors.